So, wireless charging is becoming really, really popular with companies making their own and Apple making their famous MagSafe, which people are paying £40 for. But there's a problem with this. Let's begin with the environmental side of this. Wireless charging is up to 50% more inefficient than wired charging. This means it can take almost twice as long to charge your phone up to 100%. This extra wasted energy is bad for the environment and Apple did it at the exact same time from when they removed the charging rig to be good for the environment. When using cheaper wireless chargers or some that just aren't as good quality, they can heat up quite a bit and heat up your battery. This is awful for the battery. A hot battery makes it wear down over time, meaning your battery life will just get worse and worse quicker and quicker rather than using a wired charger. And do you really want to wait almost twice as long to charge your phone? Yes, the charging speeds are speeding up, but they're still really, really slow at the moment and it's not the perfect time to transition to it. It's more inefficient, it can damage your battery, and it takes longer to charge, so why would you be willing to pay £40 for a MagSafe charger, for example? Well, Apple's particular one is that it's really easy to connect because it just slaps on the back magnetically and lines it up perfectly. The fact that it lines up perfectly means that it's slightly less inefficient than the regular wireless charger since it's hard to get that perfect alignment. So that's one good thing about the MagSafe charger. Let me know what you think about wireless charging in the comments below. If you enjoyed that video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.